Hello everyone, this is Tammy. Today I'd like to show you some of the things I do uh, to make envelopes. And you, there's a lot of envelopes on a lot of the cartridges, especially the wild card. And I just like to make different envelopes. And so I'm going to show you here on page 54. This is the envelope that I do. I'll show you how I do it and you can do it with most any envelope. Um, let's get started. So um, I'm going to start with, I like to make three by threes, and I'm going to zoom in closer here. Okay. Now I like to make three by threes because they're hard to find and they're expensive if you find them. So I took um, this envelope. Now I do, let's see what it measures. I do take off the, the chain link when I'm, when I'm doing it. And what I do is I look at the little tick marks on the, on the envelopes. And I kind of line it up with the edge of, uh, like a ruler. I use this mat like a ruler. And I count down one, two, three inches. And then I'll count one, two, three going this way. And that's kind of how I judge. And remember, I take off the aspect ratio. This will be white like that and that's how I uh, move one side at a time. Now um, it doesn't quite measure that way. I don't have my real dial size on so it's 4.75 height 5.75 for the width but if the real dial size was on it'd be 6.90 on the height and 5.63 on the width but um, I just did it regular and like I said what I usually do is make a, a practice cut and sometimes I have to adjust it just a little bit. But now here would be the envelope um, that I made um, out of the um, 3x3 and uh, that's what it looks like and as you see the finished product measures just over 3 so it will fit comfortably and just over 3. So that's my 3x3. Three three. And then some of my favorite sizes are 3.5 by 3.5, 4 by 4, and 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, and then the A2 size. So right now I'll show you the 3x3, three three, or 3.5 three by 3, I'm sorry. And let's get a closer look there. So that's what that looks like. And now the measurement for that is the height is 5.25 and the width is 6.50 and uh, then here's the envelope I have here and let's see it goes like this <laughs> and let's see what it measures yep three and a half by three and a half so that's that envelope so uh, then I go to the four by four and that measures um, let's see six in height by 7.5 width so and I have that envelope right here and that is uh, four by four then I also did a four and a quarter by four and a quarter and that measures 6.35 on the height and 8.1 on the width for this envelope. And here is that size. So let's see. See, just over four and a quarter. So the card fits comfortably. And just over four and a quarter. Then this is the A2 size card, which is five and a quarter by. Um, five and a quarter by four and a quarter I'm sorry by five and a half and the measurements for that is the height is 6.25 and the width is 10.25 so remember you can take most envelopes and then I already have them in a file marked envelopes and then I um, mark my tabs here um, the size that they are so I can quickly um, get what I need and have some envelopes made. So, and then what I really like is my lick and stick, 
you know, that you can put on there. I use this for gifts even when I'm sending some out when I make the envelopes. And I do like to coordinate. I, I uh, like to take some of the, the lightweight um, pattern paper on one side, white on the other, and that way you can ship it easily. But I try to make it matching when they open the envelope. Um, and I have taken some patterns on the outside when they're not too bright. So um, that's just how I do it. Like I said, I do have to do a, couple, a practice run or so, uh, but I can usually make my measurements pretty good uh, with the gypsy and using the map as a ruler. Well, thanks for watching.